Hi my friends, today's practice is an intermediate flow with minimal cues so that you can bring more awareness to your breath. And this is great if you're already comfortable in your yoga practice, as I'll mostly be only calling out the yoga postures. And to start, let's come into our puppy pose. Slowly press down through all 10 fingers, then pull yourself up into a tabletop position. Inhale, lift that right arm high. Exhale, thread the needle. Extend that left arm straight, or option to take that left arm behind your back. Slowly replant your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Inhale, lift that right arm high. Exhale, tabletop position. Inhale, lift your left arm high. Exhale, thread the needle. Extend that right arm straight or option to take that right arm behind your back. Slowly replant that right hand underneath the right shoulder. Inhale, lift that left arm high. Exhale, tabletop position. Inhale for your cow pose. Exhale for cat. Continue moving through these two shapes and taking any other movement that might feel good to you at this time. Let's take one more round of cat and cow. And after your exhale, we'll meet back in a neutral spine. From here, let's take a modified side plank on our right side first. Option to float that left leg as you bend your left knee and catch your left foot with the left hand. If you have the foot, slowly release, take one more inhale, and exhale, tabletop position. Modified side plank, left side. Once again, option to float that right leg as you bend your right knee, catch the right foot with the right hand. If you have the right foot, slowly release. Take one more inhale and exhale, tabletop position. Let's take one round of cat and cow to reset the spine. After your exhale, tuck the toes under as you press the hips back and downward facing dog.
begin to walk your feet to your hands and we'll take a ragdoll pose. And slowly release your fingertips down towards the ground. Heel to the feet and big toes come to touch as you roll up the spine. Inhale, arms reach high. And exhale, hands to heart center, eyes are closed. Let's take this moment here to set an intention for your practice today. Let's seal our intention with a cleansing breath. Deep inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. Eyes blink open. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, shift into the toes. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look between the hands. Walk or step top of your mat. Halfway lift in. Forward fold on the out. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath. Look between the hands, walk or step top of your mat. Halfway lift in, forward fold on the out. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift in, chaturanga dandasana on your out. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath. Gaze between the hands, walk, step or hop, top of your mat. Halfway lift in, forward fold on the out. And grab opposite hand, opposite elbow behind the knees. And drop your hips down towards your heels, feeling your ribs rest on top of the thighs. From here, keep the hips low as you release the arms, chair pose. Inhale, one more breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift in. Flow through your vinyasa. Right foot forward, warrior one.
on your next exhale, warrior two. On your next exhale, Skandasana, back of your mat. Left knee bends, shift your weight back, come onto the heel of that right foot. Next exhale, warrior two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, vinyasa. Warrior one, left side. Next exhale, warrior two. On your next exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat. Right knee bends, shift your weight back, come onto the heel of that left foot, toes are pointing towards the sky. Next exhale, warrior two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, vinyasa. Look between the hands, top of your mat. Halfway lift in, forward fold on the out. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift in, vinyasa. Right side, warrior one. Exhale to open, warrior two. Inhale, skandasana. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, vinyasa. Left side, warrior one. Exhale to open, warrior two. Inhale, skandasana. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, vinyasa. Look between the hands, top of your mat. Halfway lift in, forward fold on the out. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift in, vinyasa. Right side, warrior one. Exhale to open, warrior two. Inhale, skandasana. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, vinyasa. Left side, warrior one. Exhale to open, warrior two. Inhale, skandasana. 
exhale warrior two inhale to reverse exhale to the mat Let's take four rounds of breath. On your next inhale, roll out to a high plank. Right hand down, left arm high, side plank. Modify as you need, maybe taking the right knee down to the ground. Option to float that left leg and maybe bend your left knee as you catch the left foot. Modified or not, let's all float that left leg. Pull that left knee in towards your chest and step that left foot forward, crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, twist left. On your next exhale, warrior two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Option to stay here or you take a bind. Half bind or full bind. Maybe that birds of paradise. Wherever you are, take one more breath in. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, come out to a high plank. Left hand down, right arm high, side plank. Option here to modify by stepping that right foot down or come down to that left knee. Option here to also float that right leg and then maybe bend your right knee as you catch the right foot. Wherever we are, modified or not, let's all float that right leg. Pull that right knee in towards the chest. Step that right foot forward, crescent lunge. And take a breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, twist right. On your next exhale, warrior two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Option to stay here or you take a bind. Half bind or full bind. Maybe that bird's of paradise. Wherever 
wherever you are, take one more breath in. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, step that right foot to the outside of the right hand. Exhale, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Malasana. Great job so far, Yogi. Option here to play with a crow pose or any other arm balance that you're working on. As you're ready, let's meet in a forward fold at the top of your mat. Slowly roll up the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Eagle pose, right side. Inhale, one like a mountain. Exhale, and dancer pose. Take one more inhale, exhale, release, step it down. Eagle pose, left side. Inhale, one like a mountain. Exhale, and dancer pose. And take one more inhale. Exhale, release, step it down. Tree pose, right side. Arms to the sky. Eyes to the sky. And just for a second, eyes close. And you step on down. 
Tree Pose, Left Side. Arms to the sky. Eyes to the sky. And together, eyes close. And you step on down. Let's come to meet at the top of the mat. Inhale, chair pose. Lean into the toes, heels off the mat. Together we lower for five, four, three, two, and one. High boat. Hands come behind the knees or option to extend them forward for a bit of a challenge. Inhale to prepare. Now exhale, low boat. Inhale, come back up, high boat. Exhale, low boat. Three more, inhale. Exhale, good, two more high. Exhale, low. Last one high. Exhale, hover. Stay here and hold. Hands behind the head. Let's flutter our feet for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Scissor your feet for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tap your heels for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down, knees to chest. Give yourself a hug. Rock side to side. And begin to plant your feet down on the ground, getting ready for your back bend today. Just one opportunity for a bridge pose or a wheel pose. And so when you're ready, drive your feet down as you lift your hips up. With control, slowly lower back down and take a Supta Baddha Konasana. Slowly pull the knees in towards your chest. Rock up and down your spine about three times. And after your third time, we'll meet in a downward facing dog. Resting half pigeon, right side first.
Slowly lift your upper body off the mat and make your way into a downward facing dog. Stretch that right leg around as you need. And we'll take it to our left side, resting half pigeon. Slowly lift your upper body off the mat and then make your way back into a downward facing dog. Stretch that left leg as you need and then make your way back onto your seat. Bring the legs together, sitting up tall, seated, forward fold. Slowly release the bind as you roll back down onto your back, one vertebrae at a time. And take a happy laughing baby. Slowly begin to extend your legs long on the mat. And keep that left leg long as you pull the right knee in. Cross it over the body, supine twist. Slowly come back to center and we'll switch sides.
slowly come back to center. We're about to make our way into our final pose, so feel free to grab an extra layer as you need. Otherwise, spread your arms and legs out wide on your mat. Shavasana, in your final pose. And taking the next few moments of class here to absorb all of the benefits of your practice today. Do what is right for you. Do it over and over again. Lean into the light and keep going even when it's hard, especially when it's hard. Do not let doubt stop you. Trust the process even when your mood is low. Let growth be your mission. Let healing be your reward and let freedom be your goal. A quote by Young Pueblo. Slowly begin to bring your thumbs to your third eye. Thank you so much, my friend, for sharing your time and energy with me. I am so grateful to have you here. And I hope you carry this peace and strength with you throughout the rest of your day. Namaste.